Okay, uh, in this video we're going to be talking about simultaneous equations, okay? So we're just going to be talking about simultaneous equations with two variables, so x and y. Uh, this is it's important to get this one right because later on we're going to be talking about simultaneous equations with three variables and then it gets a little bit more tricky. So you have to know kind of the principles and how to do it, okay? Let's go right ahead and go into an example. So it'll say something like solve the simultaneous equations 2x minus 5y is equal to 9 and the second one will be 3x plus 2y is equal to 4, for example, okay? So I'm going to use blue to solve them. So what we're going to do is we're going to write them on top of each other first. So 2x minus 5y is equal to 9. And then on top of this, or oh, sorry, this is under, that's a 3, not a 2. 2y is equal to 4. So try and keep everything above, so that y isn't exactly perfectly above, but just the x is above the x is the y is above the y's, and the constants above the constants. So if you have to rearrange a little bit to do this, then I'd recommend doing this first. It just saves you time later. Okay, next thing is you want to pick a variable. It doesn't really matter which one. Whichever one's easier. So you'll see you want to cancel one of these variables. So we're going to cancel the y's in this case. I think the y's wouldn't be too hard to cancel. Uh, if the x's are easier to cancel, so you'll see what I mean by cancelling later on. But uh, if the x's are easier to cancel, then cancel the x's. But we're going to go ahead and cancel the y's first. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to multiply both of them by... Let me just change pen size. Uh, the, well, this one we're going to multiply by 2, and this one we're going to multiply by 5. And the idea being that if you multiply this by 2, you'll get 10y, and this by 5, you'll get 10y as well. So they'll be the same, okay? So I'm going to go down and write that here. So it's good. you have to multiply everything in the line, sorry, not just the y. So everything in this uh, whole equation by 2, okay? So it's going to be 4x minus 10y is equal to... 18 and then in the bottom one here then it's going to be 15x plus 10y is equal to 20 okay and uh, just scroll down here okay so next thing we're going to draw a line here we're going to add the two lines okay so in this particular example we can just add them straight away because we have a minus 10 and a plus 10 sometimes you might have to multiply one of the lines by minus one so like they have to be opposite so one of them has to be minus 10 one of them has to be plus 10 it doesn't have to be the number 10 it can be any number but just one of them has to be minus one of them has to be plus okay so 4x plus 15x is going to be 19x okay minus 10y and 10y are going to cancel and then 20 plus 18 are going to give us 38 then that means x is going to be equal to 2. Because if you divide both sides by 19, 38 divided by 19 is going to be 2, and then the 19s will cancel here. Okay? Now you're not done yet. A lot of people just think they're finished, but you have to go back. Uh, we're going to pick one of the equations. It doesn't matter which equation we pick. And we have to sub our value for x, which is x equal to 2, back into this and solve it for y. We need to find what y is equal as well. So 2x minus 5y is equal to 9. I'm going to write that in yellow. 2x minus 5y is equal to 9. We know that x is equal to 2, so it's going to be 2 by 2 minus 5y is equal to 9. 4 minus 5y is equal to 9. Scroll down a little bit more. Um, Minus 5y is equal to, I'm just going to fix that y a little bit, uh, is equal to uh, 5, because that's going to be minus 4 on that side. Uh, and now y is going to be equal to minus 1, because you divide both sides by minus 5, you get minus 1. So I'll just go back up. Alright, we'll go back up x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 1. So that's it. That's our simultaneous equation solved. You always have to get the x value and the y value, okay? And just quickly, since it isn't super important right now, it'll come in more important when we do coordinate geometry, which will be a different topic. And uh, in purple. So, ooh, forget about that wobble in the line there. Pretend it's a straight axis. This is going to be our x-axis and our y-axis, okay? So these two lines here, these two equations are actually the lines on the xy axis, okay? So I'm not sure what the lines look like, I'd have to draw them out properly, but I'm just gonna randomly draw two lines here, one here, and another one like this. So let's say, for example, so this crossing point here, if you find the two equations of the lines, so I won't write them out, but say the green one is 2x minus 5y is equal to 9, so this one here, and say the blue one is 3x plus 2y is equal to 4, that means this point here would will be when you solve the simultaneous equations you'll get this coordinate here you'll get x1 
y1. So obviously that point there isn't x equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 1, but the idea is if i drew drawn those correctly, that would be the coordinate, okay? So we'll see that that'll become more important when we do coordinate geometry. Thank you.